Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Hannah and today we are going to be making my winter wonderland soap. Before I get into the video though, the fall collection mystery boxes are currently available on the website. They are $50 with free shipping. You can select whether or not you'd like wax melts, whether or not you'd like bath bombs and bubble bars. I know not everybody has a bathtub and not everybody has a wax warmer. So I added those options in here for this collection. And if you scroll down underneath the details, you can see all of the things that will be included depending on which things that you select. There's four different options. You can select everything, only wax melts, only bath bombs or nothing if you want to. And there's a bunch of extra information in there as well. There is $65 worth of product in these boxes. They are, like I said, $50 and you will receive free shipping. The last thing that I want to say about this before I continue into today's video is that I put a lot of extra samples in these boxes as well. So you will get more than just the products that are mentioned. You'll get some scrub and butter samples possibly, some wax melt samples maybe, and even some soap samples. I always put samples in my orders regardless, but the mystery boxes are even more special because we are closing out a release, which I'm super excited about. All eyes after this weekend will be on the holiday collection. Speaking of, let's get into this video. You can find the mystery box link in the description box below if you are curious and would like to check it out. Okay, so you'll notice that I mixed in my fragrance at the same time that I mixed my lye and my oils together. I've been doing this a lot lately because it allows me to have more working time with the batter. This fragrance in particular did accelerate a little bit and it would have accelerated a lot more if I would have mixed in the oils first with the lye and then mix the fragrance in and then of course mixed in the colorants and all of that stuff it's a lot of mixing and i saw a um a comment on another youtuber's soaping video the other day and i've also gotten a lot of questions about this as well the comment that i read was that youtubers get away with stick blending a lot more than what they can get away with and i think a lot of that has to do with not only experience, but also how we soap. Every soaper soaps very differently. I soap very, very cool. I'm going to give you three tips in just a moment that you can use if you'd like to um, kind of have a little bit more working time or maybe work with some fragrances that move a little bit faster than others. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to mention um, is the questions that I've been getting is how do you have so like much time to work with your batter without a bit, without it firming up and hardening. So the three tips that I have for you are one, soap very cool. I soap at completely room temperature. I make my lye solution for all of the soap the night before. I let it sit overnight to cool all the way to room temperature. And then I mix up my oils in the morning, probably around say six o'clock, and then I'll let them kind of cool um, until about nine, 10 o'clock when it's light outside and I can use the natural light to record videos. So that's kind of how I do it. Um, but you can obviously use any sort of like a temperature gun or anything like that to check. I typically soap anywhere between 65 and 70 degrees, which automatically allows you to have more working time. Um, this also is going to depend on the fragrance that you're using, but my second tip is doing exactly what I did in this video and actually blending in the fragrance at the same time that you're blending in your oils and your lye. And if you're doing one soap that has just one color, then obviously you don't have to worry about this as much. But if you're doing like some sort of a layered soap where you want to have a ton of extra time, then you can do something like that where you put the... Um, fragrance in and mix it all together at once. Now, if you have a fragrance that's going to discolor, then this is going to be a little bit different because you're not going to obviously want to use the fragrance constantly over the course of however long you're going to be soaping. Um, and not only that, but it'll discolor a white, for example, if you are doing something like that. So that being said, the third little tip that I have is stick blend as minimal as possible. I stick blend my 10 pound batches of soap um, at about 10 seconds max. And even then, sometimes if I'm working where I have a lot of layers, which you'll see in the very near future when I post um, a couple of my holiday soaps, I will stick blend for even second se seven seconds. Now, 
There's a lot of different soapers that have many different opinions on this, but I decided that I was going to give this a try and it works very, very well for me. The way that I look at it is as long as your oils and your fragrance and your lye solution is combined and there's no separation, then you can separate off your batch into its colors. As long as you plan on stick blending a second time. You can't just stick blend for seven seconds and then not stick blend again. Um, so that's kind of my take on being able to work with your batter longer. Also, please keep in mind that I have been doing this for a year and a year ago, um, or I've been selling soap for a year and a year ago uh, from now, I was struggling big time with this. While I am also here and it is reminding me on screen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Like the video, it helps me out a ton. We just hit a thousand subscribers, which is so exciting. And we are on our way to hitting many more goals. Um, I also wanted to give you a question of the day today. The question of the day is, what is your favorite winter activity? I haven't talked a lot about this soap, but this is obviously a golden white soap. I've never done a color scheme like this before. I'm getting very much like wedding kind of soap vibes a little bit here. So I'm excited to have done these two colors together. I really like the way it turned out. This soap was not supposed to actually turn out this way. Fun fact, this soap was supposed to be a soap that was um, completely blue with snowflakes in it and it was supposed to have a tree on top with a snowman but when you spend a lot of time molding Grinches and Maxes then you run out of time to do other things so unfortunately this guy had to take a little bit of a back seat but I do like the way that it turned out I don't have too many super simple soaps for this release, so it was nice to have something that was a little bit more simple. The scent on this soap is Winter, which is a Bath & Body Works dupe from Aztec Candle, and it has some pine scents in there along with some clementine scents. It's definitely not my favorite, but I also love like peppermint patty, hot chocolate, like those are my type of winter scents. Um, whereas this is a much more naturey, pure, kind of like a winter fragrance. I also wanted a lot of the winter soaps or the holiday collection soaps to be able to be sold until February of next year. And the reason for that is because I don't have any of my releases planned for next year yet. I'm working on that. So I wanted to make sure that I would have enough content, enough soap, stuff like that ready for you guys if you'd like to make a purchase in the new year. Um, and then that also gives me a little bit more time to kind of take a break and relax. I lately have been feeling so run down, which is just a part of being a soaper in the holiday season. And that is totally fine. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys because you are kind of making me run down, which is so exciting because last year at this time, I definitely was taking it a lot more easier. So it's really nice to see the growth that has come from the soap shop over the little, the past year. Um, I looked at some of my notes that I took last year around this time. For the holiday release last year, I received 23 orders and made about $1,000, which was huge for me. So I will update you guys once the holiday release is over and give you kind of like a little bit of a comparison of what a year can be for you, for my fellow soapers out there, for anybody interested. Here is a super quick slow-mo for you of what these bars look like, look like on the inside. And that's going to be it for me. I know this video had a lot of me talking in it, not a lot about the soap, but if you are curious, you can get your hands on this guy on Saturday, November 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget about the mystery boxes that are currently available now in the, in the shop. And I will see you here on Sunday for my Holly Jolly Soap. Okay, have a great day. Bye!